Welcome back to another morning of Chasing the Dream on Alma, Missouri. It's October 2nd. We'll fire this tractor up. We've got two plowing contracts we're going to do ourselves. Nothing crazy on the money side, but it'll be enough to cover our tax payments and our loan interest, I think. Well, yeah, for the month it should cover those. So we'll uh, back in here and get hooked up to this chisel plow. It's not too far down the road, so that'll help us out. There we go. But other than that, unless the new contract pops up, we really have nothing to do today. Still kind of looking at getting a straw boiler. Keep everything heated on the farm. Keep hearing how harsh the winters can be up here. Shocked that farmer never really had anything here before for it. But, uh, yeah. And the next month, we should be able to harvest that corn finally. Might almost, I don't know, kind of thinking maybe don't really want to rent anything. But, you know, using one of those cornfields for some silage just to get it in. And go from there. What am I on seeing how much this BGA costs either? If we get enough, that, I mean, that's pretty steady income if we're dropping off slurry here once we get cattle going. But, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, cut back in once we get working in that field down here on field 7 and field 8. I think it's a combined 15 acres between the two, so not too bad. Field 7 plowed in. We'll see if we can cross here without messing up anything. We gotta plow this field. Pretty interesting. Cotton, I think, is what they had in these two fields. So we'll, uh, like I said, get to work on this. Let's get this lined up. There we go. Should be good. Put it in gear. Oh, we just check, make sure the drag's good. Looking good. So there we go. Get this second contract done, and maybe something will pop up. I'd like to see some more items on sale, but we haven't been lucky with that yet. But we'll finish this field up, and uh, I'll meet you back at the barn. All right. So we decided to pick up a third contract, Field 9, which is right near those, had sugar beets. So we turned that over as well. That was another like 11 grand. So we're up to 222,000. We'll have some taxes and fees that'll probably get taken out here and there. But overall, looking good. Uh, nothing when I looked at, which actually, once we get this backed in, because this will probably be our day. I don't see any other contracts really worth our time. Without being a mess, we'll just put this right here for now. But, uh, yeah. 
uh, like I said earlier, I looked before we did Field 9. They added, I saw there was a tanks for like an 8XR. And that was about it. So, getting down there. Like I said, next month's corn harvest. But I think this day's pretty much in the books for us. We'll have to do some, hopefully something good tomorrow. Like I said, the other thing I want to think about getting is right out here. Purchasing a boiler, straw boiler. And I think I'm going to put it right here. Because we can funnel it easily to that shed, this shed. And up to the barn. Which is ideally what we want to do. We probably should start stowing some of this equipment away for the winter. It's getting to that point, you know. Kind of wishing I had bought a silage wagon now too. Just so we can, you know, get some silage going up here. Trying to get everything ready for when we have cattle next year, hopefully. But yeah, so I'm going to... Head in and hopefully tomorrow we get some more stuff we could work on. See y'all in the morning. So we are now on the 3rd of October. Year 1 still. Uh, we spent like $44,000 I think. They put this in pretty quick so it's a straw boiler. We'll be able to sell off some of the energy we make. But for the most part it's going to heat our buildings. Which is key. Because it really needed a better heating system if the winters are as harsh as they say up here. But yeah, so I'll uh, shut this. Got it turned on, so it should start heating up. I think a flame hits it. I'm not fully sure how that works, but... Definitely running. So, we got that going. See how long that runs. And actually, if we go in here, there we go. Not showing the outgoing there, which is kind of weird, but maybe it's because it's direct sale. Have to see how that goes. Pumpkins are coming along. Actually, you know, I wonder if we go up to. Stock mark checker. Yeah, it doesn't show the methane or the electricity. But yeah, so there's that. Don't think we really have any contracts out there. No, see, it's all bailing ones still, but it's really too late to do that. Uh, we got 184,000 left. I forgot that we never collected our funds from that third plowing job, so we did that. I think it brought us up to like. 2.30 then we lost about 4,000 overnight and taxes and different things look at the pumpkins coming along great over there at least get that going for us uh, in the store we got three things we got the exact great tanks interban the old Perard system and then we got a 89.60 half off uh, what's the hours? 5.3 hours. 8 months. Hmm. I mean, ideally... Oh, it's tinted windows. You know, it looks in good shape. 300 horsepower. It could definitely do our chisel plowing for us. Oh, the choices we have, right? I mean, it's really all it can do. It doesn't have PTO. I mean, unless... No, that's not... Yes, uh, I don't know. Uh, do we, can we put a three-point with a PTO on it? We could for another 11 grand. I mean, ideally... That at least allows us, gives us something to pull the cart, besides our Steiger. That's tough. Do we want a GPS? Uh, no. If we go up, another 16 grand. 
to go to 370 horse. I think we're going to hold off on that. We're not going to purchase this. I'm not doing it because I don't want to mix up the barn tractors, red and green, you know. I know a lot of you get annoyed by that. Let me know down in the comment what team you are. Are you red or green? But yeah, I think we're going to hold off on that. Uh, that'll probably be our day for this, to be honest with you. We'll uh, see if anything pops back up later in the day. If it does, I'll uh, fire the camera back up. I want to shut these, try to keep everything warmer. But yeah, we'll see where it takes us. Alright, so... Still sitting around 174,000. We're in November now. Our corn, pretty much ready. I mean, I think it's ready. We'll do some more checks on it. Uh, we took two contracts. We got corn to bring down to the corn dryer in town on field 17, and then right next to us, field 13 sunflower. Couldn't say no to those. The local farmer asked me if we could do that with our own equipment. We didn't want to pay as much for all the ag stuff the ag contractor that we've been working for and I said yeah I could do that for a price so that would get us about another 29 grand I think but I think we're gonna spend some money and I'm gonna show you why so we have our harvest kinda want something that makes it a little easier to haul other than that gravity wagon which I don't mind it we'll keep up that for now but I think it's you know something that kinda motivated me to want to go that way is you know, there's a Kinsey 1121 Harvest Commander in here. 53% off. Pretty good deal. Second part of that. Yep. 863 Turbo Bobcat. We will need one of those around the yard soon. Especially when we start dealing with beef, dairy, and all the other stuff that comes with having livestock. It makes it easier to move the bales around a little bit too. Larger stacks, especially when we're going to fill the boiler. So I think I'm going to purchase those two. You know, there they are. Boom, boom. And then, well, actually, let's, let's get right in there and purchase that right now. So that's soft tread. Can't really switch that up in the Midas. Oh, it does sit right in that wheel junction. Um, no rear hitch. Hell yes, hell no. For that price, we don't need to attach anything to that. Crawler tracks, 20,000, no. So, yeah, it looks like the deal only comes with that, but it holds 38.8. Pretty good uh, amount there. So, for 34,000, I'm going to say, let's do it. Why not? we got to start spending money to make money. Like I said, the Bobcat, 39% off. Let's do it. We don't need a plate on that. It's going to stay in the yard. We're going to buy that. So now we're down to 124000 And this is where we got to spend the money. We have the Harvest Store already, right? So I was looking through, seeing what they have out there. You know, they're used, but they're marking them at a new price. Nothing special. No sales, essentially, on these at the actual dealerships. I was looking at these two bison uh, bison in the general 70 grand though a little tough especially when we're going to need something to pull behind it and that's coming through here and then well bc bueller you know i heard does a pretty good job up in canada sends down these beautiful mac trucks so then i saw this for fifty thousand. really i mean it does all we got you get the grain truck obviously too you know, not bad. You know, I kind of looked at this Peterbilt 352 cab over, but from what I heard is that one has gone off a lot and come back, and they just leaving it at that. Yeah, it's pretty affordable, but I think we're going to be stuck in the middle because that's what I keep hearing is people get stuck with it. So let's go in here. Let's look at this. Coming in all white. I wonder if we could change the color without breaking the bank. Air conditioner, standard. What color do we want? Do we want a red? 
Oh, whoa, oh, oh. So this thing's coming in all sorts of colors here. I mean, different. That's uh, definitely different. But they're not going to charge us anything for that, so I don't even know where that that red was. I guess that's on that back. I don't, really don't know where that is. I mean, that's kind of unique, right? Uh, license plate. Let's call this. Uh, you switch. There it is. Uh, let's go. Oops, I don't want to switch that. Go field truck. We're going to do it the funny way. Field truck. There we go. So that's the plates on that. We're good there. It's good in the front and the back. It's legal. Don't think we need to change anything else. It keeps it out of 50,000. Oh, maybe we do go. Oh, nope. Going up on the engine is quite expensive. Ah, uh, 5,000 more. 55. I can live with that. Let's go ahead. Let's purchase it. Now, here comes the other part. We've got to find ourselves a decent trailer. We got $69,000 in the bank. These contracts will hopefully help. We're going to do those first before we tackle our own fields. Just so we have a little bit of money sitting on. That pay setter. Mm, 59 can't afford that definitely can't afford that distinction Alec to ex uh, we could afford that 50,000 but that holds pretty good that looks pretty long but isn't it yeah it's more of a dump so we're not gonna be able to I mean, we could use that, but not to that advantage. The a tracks no. Hmm. What about this Dakota? That's the same size as the... I mean, that's not a bad price. I mean, $20,000 for essentially what our green card will be. Jet hopper, we could afford that. 58. Uh, don't really want to put us deep down in the hole here, though. Load King, 73. Can't use the Mac dump. You got this trailer for 35. But that's more expensive than the other one. Um, 28 footer, still not really there either. Well, this is a predicament. These load kings. I don't know why that says zero dollars. Must be because that came from UMRV. Hmm. Well, we're just going to avoid that for now. This pay setter, another one by DJ. 60. 59,000. Not bad. This Wilson trailer, 56. Also runs at 59.50. I think we got to go with. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's kind of big, but... Hmm. I think we're going to have to go with the other one. That we saw for, what was it, 19000 So if we go back here, see if we can find that. The Dakota. Brains, zero one. Unique, right? Uh, 
We all set up. We'll keep that steel. What do we got for our tarp? We got the blue tarp. Metallic black. And that's not going to work. Got metal. I think the tan tarp will have to do. All right. So we are down to $50,000 now. We have the stuff to get the harvest started. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll go to town, get all this back to the yard, and then we will head over. And I think the first thing we'll do is start that sunflower one before we break into that large field 17 corn one. And then we'll get working on our fields after that. Alrighty. Well, we've got the new equipment up here. There's our Kingsley Commander, Harvest Commander. We've got the Dakota Trailer. Or the Hoppers. We've got a new Mac. Thing sounds pretty nice. But, uh, yeah. We're, uh, doing pretty well. I think uh, this is where I'm going to call it an episode. Now that we got all this equipment back, it's 8.30 on November 1st, and I think to start the next episode, we'll start in the cornfields. Or actually, no, we'll start the sunflower c contract that's over here. But we're down at 50000 we got been putting hay in there and not making any money off of it, because we're using it all up in these spaces. But I think that'll be the thing to do, and then we need to start moving some of the serious equipment inside. The hay wagons could probably stay out here, but we'll get the disc spine and the baler cleaned up and in there. That'll be my next purchase actually is gonna be we need to get a fuel tank and we need to get a pressure washer. But till next time, farmer ties out.